So many people question that they are unable to install the mid server in their local system, in their Windows system. So today I'll talk about that how we can uh, resolve that issue. Right now I am in this, if you see this instance is right now in the Tokyo environment and then in this Tokyo uh, release, how can I install the mid server that I'm going to talk about in our today's class. So basically in your local system, if you are unable to install the mid server, previously I used to install that mid server in my local system. But right now, uh, there is a uh, certain uh, configuration changes into service now. That's the reason you can't install the mid server in your local system. For that, what you can do, actually, you can use the virtual machine, your local system. And then under the virtual machine, you can um, uh, enable that 2016 Windows 2016 image or uh, you can install the Linux image under the virtual machine or if you have the Azure um, account, you can create the virtual machine in your cloud environment in the Azure or maybe AWS. So I um, recently um, installed and I already recently show that how we can create a free account and then how we can uh, deploy the virtual machine in my class even. So if you want to go through, you can go through that. Um, so basically what I did actually, I actually uh, create a virtual machine in the Azure and then right now I am in um, uh, right now in 2016 uh, under this virtual machine. If you see, if I go back and then under that properties, so right now you can see um, I am running that uh, Windows Server 2020 data center and this is actually running on the virtual um, machine on the cloud basically in the Azure directory. So now uh, what you have to do, um, um, before I start to installing the mid server, I just want to show you that what is the mid, uh, what are the applications that help you to, to do through the mid server. So basically if you install the mid server or maybe to run the discovery orchestration service mapping, event management, operational intelligence, cloud management, integration hub or cloud insight, you need the mid server. So for these all application, basically you need the mid server. So you understand that what is importance, the importance of the mid server. So it, mid server is a very important to component for the item. Uh, so these are the uh, component to run that you need the mid server basically. So for that, uh, I'm going to show you that in the Tokyo version, how can you install the mid server? So first thing first, either you go and create your virtual machine in your Windows system. So if you have, or else you can go to the Azure and create the virtual machine and there you can install that Windows 2016 or 12. So now after that, what you have to do under this virtual machine, um, I am just, I am in right now virtual machine. What I have to do, I have to go to the mid server and then under this mid server, um, you have an option called download. So you go to this download and then here you have a 64 bit options. So you click that and it will be, it will be downloaded um, within a min minute. Basically, I'm in the uh, cloud, so it will be downloaded in quick, uh, quick a second. So virtual machine, I mean, Azure is free of cost giving you, uh, even they are providing $200 for first month. And then uh, for small system, they are giving free of cost um, for one year, so you can try that. So I'm going to click that, uh, this downloaded file right now. I'll go to the downloads. And then I'll can see I can click the run option this zip file so I'll click next I'll click that agreement and uh, I'll click here and click next now here I need to provide that uh, my instant um, instance URL username and password so let's go back here and then first I need to create a user the user minimum role with meet underscore server role. So I'll go to the sys underscore user table. Under the sys underscore user table, let's see, um, you can see I have created one user called meet underscore um, server. So what I will do here, I'll set the password. So password is set and if I open this user, this user have the role called meet underscore server. So if I see that, this user and search here called meet underscore server. This user have meet underscore server role. Now if I, uh, so basically you have to create a user which have the role meet underscore server. Now if you go to this meet server module and if I go to the servers right now, I have already one server 
previously I created an, on that another VM. So right now I'm going to create uh, this one. So here I need to put this instance URL. I'll simply copy this instance URL and paste here. And here I need to put that username. So I'll put meet underscore server. And then I need to put the credential and click the test connection. And you can see connection tested successfully here. And then you can click the next. Now here you can see I this is asking to create a service account to me. So what I'll do, I'll click here and then here it is asking to create a service account. So I'll say that uh, Rohit meet. Okay, and here I'll put that uh, some password. So this service account will be created under this meet server. I mean under this server actually. Now I can select this one, okay. And here I need to put that mid server name. So I'll say that um, VM new, and then I need to put the credential that recently I did that there. So I'll put this credential, and then here I have to select that validate mid server setting. So basically, what happened there? I put that um, Rohit space mid. So don't put the space between uh, service accounts. So that's the reason it is getting filled. So I re am recreating that, okay? And then uh, this time I don't put any space. I just put that my name. So now you can see the validation is secure setting. Now what we have to do, I have to close this and then click next. And then on under the which path I want to install this meet server that I have to define. So I'll select this path. And then what option, what option I do have, we have the start mid server after installation. I'll select that and click next and then click install. So now, so now you can see the mid server installed successful in VM. Once I finish that, uh, the mid server will be start booting up. So let's see if I go back to my computer under, under this VM. So if I go back to this um, computer under the C drive, you will be able to see this uh, mid server file which is created under this you have the agent and here you have a stop, start and then restart batch. So let's go back to the service now here and then if we go back to the server, right now you can see the VM new is um, in up state. So we have to click here. And under this, you can see there is option for validate. You just click that validate option. The mid server will be restarted. Once you click the validate option, uh, there will be pop up. Just save that without any changes. You can see right now the status is up. It is validated right now. And with this IP address, this IP address is nothing but my virtual machine IP address. So that's the basic steps to install the mid server even you are in the Tokyo version. So if you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.